Well, you may be wondering what the heck this whole getup is right here. And this is my entire EcoFlow Delta Pro setup. I've got two Delta Pros as well as four external batteries. And it's about 600 pounds. So I put it on this Uline cart to make it really easy to move. You can see how easy it is to move here on my garage floor. And I'll have links down below for this one. There's many different carts you can use. But uh, this is one of my main backup systems for the entire house now. And I want to show you how I do that. So right up here, I've got the adapter cables in case I want to do 120 volt power. But the big one is this big 240 volt combiner from EcoFlow. You have to have this in order to get 240 volt power out of these two systems here. And it is pretty legit doing it. I actually had to use this system the other night. We cut power to our house accidentally when uh, some people were excavating in the yard and they hit our main power line. And so they uh, had to call the electrical company to replace that. And it was pretty funny because when they showed up, the electrical company, we had power. The lights were on outside, the lights were on here in the garage and in the house. And so they came up and they're like, is this the right house? And I said, yeah, don't worry, I'm, I'm running on backup power. And uh, they got to work and they're like, where are you pulling your power from? We don't hear a generator running. And I said, no, I've got solar generators so I can run my whole house without a gas generator, which is really good in an emergency preparedness situation for stealth, making sure people don't know or can hear that I've got power. And then I also keep blackout curtains on my windows. So that way, if I am running power, I can block out that light. So anyway, I want to show you how you update the firmware on this, get it connected up to the house, real simple. And so you want to make sure you stay tuned for this video. Now I paid for this system with money out of my own pocket. And so if you appreciate an honest detailed review like this because of that, I would appreciate it if you leave a thumbs up or even subscribe. But the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get into the EcoFlow app. So I've downloaded that. And then we gotta do from there is basically add this system to it. So you open the side door and you hold down the IoT reset button until it shows the Wi-Fi right here. Then in the app, you'll click add device you're gonna have to jump on the Wi-Fi that's being put off by this system. So on smartphones, it'll tell you what to do with that connection because it's not an internet connection, it's just a Wi-Fi connection. So that way you can connect to your phone. You'll want to click stay connected and that's gonna allow it to connect to your phone and then you'll be able to connect back to your main internet so that way you can view this from anywhere in the house. So once you've connected to the unit, you're basically gonna go into your settings and then click firmware and you wanna make sure that you get the latest version and click update and confirm. You can't be using the system when you're doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this update. Then I'll do the same thing to this bottom Delta Pro. So now that both of these are updated, I can now use this voltage hub combiner, whatever it's called right here. And all you have to do is connect it to the infinity port right here on the side. And you just make sure that the clip that's right here is facing out. That's how it lines up. And you'll hear a slight click and it is pretty hard to push them in. And you see, I push the power button on top here, and now it's got both of these systems connected, and it shows a little icon here in the bottom left showing that everything is connected together. So now to get 240 volt power to my entire house, this would allow me to run my well pump, my dryer, my oven, if it's 240 volt. I use propane here, uh, but we do have two dryers here. So one is 240 volt electric, and the other one is propane. But the transfer switch that I have here at my house I have to use this SS2-50 plug and it adapts to this L1430 plug right here. And so I just use this extension cord, uh, plug one side in right here, and then I can take this L1430P and plug it in right here. Obviously you wanna make sure you have the AC power turned off before you start using this. You wanna have this plugged in to the transfer switch first and then plug this in right here. And it is a locking switch and then turn on the AC power. So it really is pretty simple. All I'd have to do is throw the main breaker on the electrical panel, turn on the transfer switch, then come into here, connect the hub to both Delta Pros, then connect my extension cable all the way here, going into the wall, and then I can turn on the AC power here, and I'm good to go around 240 volt power throughout the entire house. Pretty incredible. So right now what I wanna do is take you step by step how I run the entire house on 240 volt power off of the EcoFlow Delta Pro. If you need 240 volt power, 
This is the absolute best system right now to go with. And so you can find it at poweredportablesolar.com to be able to get the best deals and kits and everything like that. So make sure you check it out there. But I'm gonna go ahead and go from beginning to end how I would get this running just so that way you can follow it if you really need to. So I'm just gonna pretend that the power went out even though it's not out yet. But I'm gonna pretend the power has gone out. Okay, now I know I wanna get this connected to the house. So I'm gonna to go to the electrical panel. And personally what I do is I turn off all the other circuits first. I don't want a huge surge of energy going into the Delta Pro right when I get it connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my 200 amp switch right there. So I'm gonna push up on this plate and then over on that. And that's gonna allow power to come in from out there. So now that I've done this, I'm gonna go back to the Delta Pro and get it all connected up. So I've got my cables here. Take my connection hub, turn on this unit, and turn on this unit. I'm not turning on the AC power yet, just the displays, making sure the clips are facing towards me. Clip that one in, there we go. And before I turn on the AC power on this, I wanna plug this in. Lift this up. The shiny middle part of the plug there on the side. Push it all the way in. And then I will push this AC on off button right here. Here, everything turn on. So I'm back to the electrical panel. And because I have 240 volt power, I can power both sides of this. I'm just gonna start turning things on one by one. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park, the first film, and I'm switching back on all the switches and some kid's about to get electrocuted on a big electric fence. And just like that, we're now running the whole house again. You can see the lights turned back on. Let's go take a look at the Delta Pro. So now with everything connected, running in the whole house, just like normal, we are not holding anything back. These two units are running. Now I don't have the solar panels connected to this right now. I'm gonna show you how to do that in another video because it is one peculiar part about the EcoFlow Delta Pro is how to get all of the solar connected. It's really not overly complicated. Uh, it's just, I wish it was easier to over panel. You can over panel, but I wish I could get more like on the Titan but the Titan can't do 240 volt power. So that's why I like this system so much is for 240 volt power, I can absolutely do it. Right now it says I'm only drawing about 350 watts from here and about 75 watts from down here. So we really don't use a lot of power here, but now I can run my well pump. I can run my pressurization tank to get water throughout the whole house. That's the biggest 240 volt power that I need. I do have a dryer that uses 240 volt, but I also have another dryer that uses propane and 120 volt power. So I don't have to use uh, the electricity on that one. But if these are full and I've got tons of solar panels out, then there's no reason to be using the propane and I could be using electrical power to dry our clothes. Let's go run the well pump, I'll show you. Okay, I'm here out at my well. This is my, my well casing, my hand pump for my well, and turn this on. And you can see we got tons of power here coming out of the well, runs it no problem. I can run my entire house, literally everything in the entire house. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, the solar generators have really, really come a long way in the last year or so. And I'm excited to see what comes out here in the near future. Um, there are rumors of more systems being able to do stuff like this. I love the Delta Pro. I'd say probably one of the only drawbacks that I see uh, in like the Facebook groups and stuff like that is because this is more modern, higher techie techie stuff. Uh, they run into random little errors here and there. When I say they, I mean just people, just users. And um, so that's my only concern. That's one of the things I love so much about the Titan is it's very, very basic. It's a rocker switch to turn it on and it's running. Here there's all this programming and cabling and stuff like that. Um, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. I'm not saying that that's a big problem. I'm just saying that just like with newer vehicles, the newer they get, the more technology gets into it. Uh, sometimes the little bit less reliable in some ways they can be. I'm not saying the Delta Pro is unreliable. This is a very reliable, very good system. Lithium iron phosphate batteries. Each one of these pieces is 3,600 watt hours. So I basically got around 21,000 watt hours of battery capacity. And so that's capable of running my house nonstop for over 24 hours. This is a great setup for RVs, just using this RV plug right here. And you actually do get the full 30 amp service out of it. You can have two batteries attached to it. Check out poweredportablesolar.com to get this, as well as any other accessories you may need for the Delta Pro, EcoFlow, Blue Eddy, uh, a Titan, all that kind of equipment. I'll say the biggest thing about being prepared is you have to be prepared before it happens. Once the power is gone, 
it's gone. If you don't have this already charged up, ready to go with these connectors, then it's useless. Um, I do have two gas slash propane generators as a backup. And so I can be recharging these if the clouds are really, really thick or something like that. And I can still be running the whole house, no problem. But it really, really is vital to be prepared before the crap hits the fan. For me, one of my top choices is the EcoFlow Delta Pro. These things weigh about 100 pounds each, and, uh, and that's why I recommend getting the rack. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Be prepared. I'll see you guys in the next video.